Gold medal at 60 kilos between a couple of guys who have had success. For Kyrgyzstan, Sharshin Bekov, the one seed, the reigning world silver medalist in Norway last year, while for Nijad of Iran, he was the Asian silver medalist in Almaty a year ago. One of four finalists for Iran tonight. And it's a different looking team, let's be honest. You, you look at who Iran has sent to these Asian championships. It's a completely different team from the one that we saw at the Olympic Games and also the World Championships in Oslo. But that just speaks volumes of the type of depth that Iran has right now in Greco-Roman. Sharshin Bekov doing a good job of initiating the contact. A couple of shoulder shrugs, controlling the center. Referee warning Nijad to pick it up a little bit or he might go down first in this opening period. Here comes the whistle, and it will be Sharshin Bekov to go parterre. Kyrgyzstan won two gold medals last night, entering today the number two team behind Kazakhstan. Kyrgyzstan going back to back in gold medal victories in the opening night of competition. Now their first crack at gold at 60. Stand up position, quickly Sharshin Bekov jumps over to the right side of the body of the Iranian underneath. Now he goes into an explosive stand up, but look at the defense underneath by Nijad. Heavy hips, just not allowing Sharshin Bekov to get any type of momentum built. One more burst of energy here. Trying to position and secure his grip, but he has no chance to pull off any type of throw. Terrific defense by Nijad. Keep that last sequence in mind as we go deeper into this match. That could be pivotal. See the left shoulder of Nijad all patched up, the protective brace and bandage. This is a one-day tournament this year at the Asian Championships. China did not come for Greco-Roman competition. So that took away some of the competitors in the field. So unlike the Europeans, which is a two-day set, these wrestlers going two and three matches all in one day. Big bull rush there coming from Sharshim Bekov. Defensive battle, short time wrestling in this first period, and not much is going to be settled. Sharshin Bekov with a missed opportunity from Parterre, and after three minutes, a 1 0 lead for Kyrgyzstan. Good look at Sharshin Bekov, a two time Asian silver medalist. He's looking to go three for three in these Asian championships. Competing in his third senior level event. He was a world silver medalist in Oslo last year in 2021. And we talked about the two silvers and the bronze for Sharshim Bekov looking for the gold here tonight. Expect to see some urgency from the Iranian now in Nijat. Nijad, the U23 World Championship silver medalist a year ago, 2019 and 18 bronze medalist at the U23 Worlds. So everybody knew that this is a guy that Iran has patiently been waiting for to arrive at the senior level. Sharshin Bekov jumping on the left arm. Trying to steer the Iranian around the map. Boy, he is doing a good job at dictating. Referee warning Nijad to try to circle, try to take back some traction. He does, gets back into the center. But 
unforgiving and unrelenting is Sharshenbekov. He is just going to stay hooked on the arm. And for the second time, Parterre is going to be ordered. Now, since it is the second time, he'll get the point. So that's just really smart wrestling by Sharshenbekov. Even though he was given the first Parterre opportunity in the first period, he came out got to his tie and drew the referee's attention. So a 2 nothing lead. Now let's see if the second go around will be more fortunate for him, and it will be as he takes him over to his back. It was brief, but it was enough. And a 4 to nothing lead for Sharshin Bekov, and now an injury time as Nijad is banged up. Awkward exchange in the fact that Nijad got all twisted up as he was rolled over and might have tweaked something in his left side. And that's where the spray, the magical freezing spray will be applied as we take another look at it here. You see as he tries to kind of come back into the body of Sharshin Bekov. Just might have tweaked an ab muscle, but it looks like he's going to be all right. Shakes off the medical trainer. Still hunched over, trying to collect his breath. And if you're Sharshim Bekov, now you smell blood in the water. You can bet he's going to try to keep up this intensity. Yeah, you can, you can tell the discomfort here for Nijad. He is clearly hurting. Trying to get some air into his lungs and it's one of those types of deals that if it's a muscle issue in the abdominal area that that's tough because every time you take a breath you feel it and any time you twist or turn you feel it and you can just see watching that that last set of events he, he was not committing he was definitely feeling the effects of it so the medical trainer is going to come out He's going to communicate with Nijad and try to decide what he wants to do. Injury timeout is handled differently than a blood timeout. wrestlers ready to go at it but they have to wait for the medical team to get back in two positions here we go inside two minutes to go second period first gold medal match of the night clearly Kyrgyzstan with the advantage a four nothing lead plus a, a dinged up wrestler from Iran right now and Mehdi Mosin Nijad and one more time Nijad goes down and I just don't think he's going to be able to continue on this one There was no contact there, and he went down. And see the good sportsmanship from Zolomon Sharshenbekov over to make sure that his counterpart is all right. That, that's what's so neat about this sport. These are elite athletes, ultra competitors. You know, they work so hard for these moments. Now to see the sportsmanship that Sharshenbekov is demonstrating, trying to help out Nijat. Really special to see. And this crowd appreciates what they're witnessing as well. First class personified all the way around there. An injury default. Mehdi Mosin Nijad did all he could to try to hang in there. But the gold will go to Sharshimbekov. Kyrgyzstan has won their third gold medal of these championships. Get ready for some acrobatics. The high flying Sharshim Bekov celebrating in style the gold medal performance. <laughs> 